What is going on guys, it is Panjana here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the ultimate FPS increase guide for World of Warcraft, and more specifically for the Battle of Azeroth update. With inside of this video, we're going to be aiming to get you guys the best FPS possible with inside of the game whilst maintaining a great visual fidelity and just overall further optimizing the game to run better on all of your systems regardless of the system spec. Whether you guys are running on an ancient ultra low end potato of a PC or if you just put yourself a brand new high end gaming rig, there is always performance enhancements and visual enhancements to be gained across the board. So with inside of this video, we're aiming to eliminate any issues you might be having, removing any micro stuttering, overall boosting the FPS and just making the experience more enjoyable. With inside of this video, there's going to be plenty of customer optimization and options for you guys to further come in and tweak and tune this to your personal liking. So some of you guys out there who really just want to get the most FPS possible, you can do that. And for some of you guys who want to get a fine balance of FPS and visual fidelity, you can do that as well. So if you guys do like this video, please do leave a like on the video down below as it helps me out tremendously. And if you guys can share this video around with anyone that you feel might be able to benefit from the FPS optimizations with inside of this video, that'll be deeply appreciated. And if you guys can also subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification to be notified instantly whenever I upload content like this. If you do enjoy content like this, then that is the best way to catch the videos just as they come out. As always guys, if you leave any results, questions, queries and suggestions for more videos in that comment section down below, it'll be absolutely fantastic to hear from you guys and it's always great hearing your results and what you have to say. So with all of that being said and done, let's get straight into the video to keep this as fast and as simple as possible. So starting off with inside of this video, for convenience, you guys will be able to navigate into the description down below and there'll actually be a small FPS increase pack you can actually go ahead and download. The main reasons for this FPS pack being here is just so that we can compile everything in one place so you don't have to go to a million different places to get everything and gather all the information. It's just simply all compiled into one small file that you can go ahead and download and just extract to open. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. So navigate down to the description down below and click on one of the download links. If the first one doesn't work, try the second one out and you should be good to go. Download the file and put it onto your desktop and you'll be given a file named Warcraft FPS Pack by Panj. But inside of this file, you will either need a program called 7-Zip or WinRAR to open this up. Just simply take yourself over to Google if you don't have one of those and either Google 7-Zip or WinRAR. I'd personally recommend 7-Zip, but it's fine if you get WinRAR and then we can actually go ahead and open this file up. Now to do so, what you're going to need to do is right click on the file, go to extract here. And once you guys have done that, you'll then notice that you're given a folder on your desktop with an identical name. Then with inside of this folder, you'll then be greeted with the settings folder and the optimizations folder. Inside of the settings folder, you'll find four different configs for four different system configurations. You can go ahead and further personalize these later on as well. So you don't have to follow these exactly, but they're just a good guideline and a good baseline for what you should be setting your settings to according to your system specs. So if you're on a high-end system, you'll be going with the high-end settings. If you're on a low-end system, you'll be going with the low-end settings and vice versa. Inside of these configs, you'll just simply go ahead and double click on the config you're going to be using and you'll be given a bunch of console commands you can use inside of the game to further enhance and boost your FPS. You don't have to run all of these. You can run just a few of them if you wish to do so as the names are pretty self-explanatory as to what they do. So you can pick and choose from these which you want to run. And alongside that, you'll then be given all of the in-game options with inside of here, in which you can match to your in-game settings. I'm going to show you briefly how to do this later on in the video, as this just makes things a lot faster and simpler to follow along with, rather than this video being 40 minutes long. It just allows you guys to simply look at the options here and copy them with inside of your game. So for now, we're going to be simply going ahead and actually exiting out of the configs, as we're not going to be interested in doing those just yet, as we're going to be getting onto them in a minute. So starting off with inside of here, what we're actually going to be going ahead and doing is actually going down to our Battle.net launcher and opening that up. So to start off with inside of here, what we're actually going to be doing is going into our Battle.net settings. To do this, we're going to be going over to the top left hand side and clicking on the Blizzard logo and going down to settings. With inside of here, we're then going to be going over to the general tab. And what we're going to be doing is going down to when I click X at the top of the window, we're going to be going to exit Battle.net. And when I launch a game, we're going to be going down to the drop down menu and setting this to exit Battle.net completely. This is especially going to be really good for you guys running on lower end systems, or if you don't have an SSD on your system or you have low amounts of RAM, this will help out especially as it will close out of the Battle.net program so it won't be running in the background, leaving you more resources to go to your game. Another thing I recommend doing is actually going down to the streaming tab. And unless you do use the inbuilt Blizzard streaming utility, I wouldn't recommend turning this on. So if it's already enabled, which it more than likely will be, simply go over to the top option, which is enable streaming and actually uncheck this. Once that's then been done, simply go down and press the done key and you're then done setting up your Blizzard launcher. With inside of there, what we're now gonna be doing is going over to World of Warcraft then going down to the options menu with inside of the game itself. And what we're then going to be doing is going into show in Explorer. It will then show you your directory of where your game's actually installed to. We're going to be going ahead and actually going inside of the World of Warcraft folder. Then with inside of here, we're then going to be going over to the launcher and the WoW application. We're going to start off by going over to the World of Warcraft launcher. And what we're going to be doing is applying some exe fixes to the applications to ensure that they're running for the best enhancements with inside of Windows 10. It should help further boost FPS and remove any micro stuttering you might be experiencing. To do this, we're going to be right clicking on the EXE, 
going over to the properties tab. Following up from there, we're then going to be going over to compatibility. And when inside of here, we're looking for the option which is disable full screen optimizations. Go ahead and make sure that setting has then been checked. Once it's then been checked, go down to change high DPI settings. And we're then going to look for the option for override high DPI scaling behavior performed by and checking that option as well, pressing OK and then pressing apply. And once we're done with that, we're then going to repeat those steps for the WoW application found here. So again, right click on WoW, go to properties, go down to the compatibility tab, disable the full screen optimizations, go to change high DPI settings and override the high DPI scaling behavior performed by. And we're then going to be going to OK, apply and OK. Once that's then been done, we can then go ahead and actually exit out of those folders as the application settings for both the Blizzard launcher and the game EXEs have now been applied. And after those steps, what we're actually going to be going ahead and doing is installing our customized game configs. So to do this, we're simply going to be going ahead and booting into Warcraft and loading into the game. So once you guys have booted into the game, you can just be in anywhere on the map. It doesn't particularly matter, just as long as you have access to the settings menu. So what we're going to be doing now is simply going ahead and pressing escape and what we can actually do is drag our game slightly over to the left hand side and what we're going to be doing is going into the system settings found here. But inside of here what you'll now be able to do is actually minimize your game, go into the FPS pack provided, going into the settings folder and when inside of here you'll then click on the config in which you're going to be matching with your system specs. So again if you're on an ultra low end system go with the ultra low end config. If you're on a high end system you'll be going with the high end config. So once you guys have determined which settings you're going to be going with simply go ahead and double click on the notepad and the notepad will then open up. We can then go ahead and actually drag this over to the right hand side just a little bit, drag the game over so you can see both the screens and what you'll now be doing is you'll actually be matching all of the settings on the right hand side with inside of the notepad to your in-game settings to fully optimize your game. Now I do recommend doing the display settings found here at the top last as you want your game to be running in windowed mode whilst you're putting all of these settings in just to keep it easy so you can look over to the right hand side, see what the setting is and input it in here. So for instance what we'll be doing is going down to graphics quality, setting graphics quality to 10 because this is the high end config. Once the graphics quality has been set to 10 I can now see that the texture resolution down here is set to high so I just go ahead and match that. Texture filtering is going to be set to bilinear just like so and what you'll then do is you'll simply follow all of the options with inside of here by scrolling down and you'll just be matching them to your in-game settings. Now do bear in mind this is just my personal recommendation as to what should run the best. You can turn things down even more if you wish to do so or you can bump things up if you prefer the way they look. But for typically the best results possible and the fastest results you'll probably just want to match the config in which has been provided on the right hand side completely. So going off of that once you guys have matched all of your settings make sure that you do go over to the left hand side to get into the advanced tab found here at the top as well and make sure that you put all of the settings with inside of there. As you can see when you scroll down you'll see the advanced settings found here in which you will also have to input inside of this mode. And you can also come down to the sounds tab, which again, the sound settings have been included in the configs on the right hand side. And again, match all of the settings with inside of here, depending on the config in which you're looking at. Once you have all of them set, what I recommend you then go ahead and do is actually press OK, apply all of the changes. After you apply the optimized configs, the FPS might be a little bit strange until you restart your game. So you might have lower FPS, but make sure that you do restart your game and then you should be seeing all of the benefits. But before we restart our game, what I'm going to be doing is just showing you guys how to input those those console commands for further FPS gains. So what you'll do is you'll navigate back to the notepad containing your settings file and what you'll actually do is you'll scroll all the way to the top and you'll find the list of commands inside of here. So for instance if you wish to input the console skycloud lod1 command for better FPS you'll just simply go ahead and copy and paste this just like so. Selecting copy, coming into the game and pressing enter so the say command comes up in the bottom left hand side and then you'll just simply control plus v at the same time paste that inside of there and press enter once you guys have pressed enter the optimization and the command will then be applied again what you can then simply go ahead and do is just continue to input all of these console commands until they've all been applied just like so and another quick handy tip for any of you guys who are wishing to see what your fps is actually inside of the game without using a different tool you can just simply press control and r at the same time and as you can see down here in the middle of my screen you can now see the in-game fps counter. But again, don't pay attention to this FPS until you restart your game after you've applied all of the settings. At this point, what you can go ahead and do is just simply go ahead and exit out of the game and we can come back to the game later on after we've applied the last few optimizations left with inside of this guide. Now, whilst you guys are inputting your console commands, you'll notice that at the bottom here, there is an option in which you have to customize, which is actually the slash console M2 faster option. With inside of here, you'll be setting this uniquely to the amount of CPU cores your CPU has inside of your system. This might sound a little bit confusing, but it's actually very simple to do. To do this you'll navigate down to the bottom of your PC, right clicking on your taskbar and going to task manager. With inside of here you'll then go over to the performance tab found here at the top, you'll then go over to your CPU and you'll click on that once. 
Then in the bottom right hand side, you should then see where it says cores and the number of cores inside of your CPU will then be shown inside of there. As you can see, my CPU actually has six cores. You guys might have two, four, you might have a completely different number to me, but whatever that number is, that's how many CPU cores we can use. So what you'll actually do is you'll go over to the right hand side to your console M2 faster command. And to set this up properly, you take the number of CPU cores your system has and you actually deduct that number by one. So for instance, if I have six CPU cores, I'll be coming over to this option here and I'll be inputting the value of five as that is six minus one. If you guys have two cores, you'll be setting this to one. If you guys have eight cores, you'll be setting this to seven and vice versa. So for me, this is personally going to be set to five. And then what I can go ahead and do is actually input that console command there just by right clicking and copying and pasting it in. And that now brings us on to some of the final steps within inside of this video and which are arguably some of the most important steps. So make sure that you do follow as many of these as you possibly can to see FPS improvements across the board. So the first optimization we're actually going to be applying is ensuring that our Windows power options are set accordingly to work best in terms of performance. This won't increase system heat, this is completely safe to do. This is just ensuring that Windows can have access to all of the CPU horsepower you have to ensure that your games are running as smoothly as possible. To do this, we're gonna be navigating to the bottom left hand side and typing in power. Once you guys type that in, you'll then be looking for any of the icons in here which look like a battery with a power cord going around it. Doesn't matter what the option says, just find any of those logos and click on one of them. With inside of there, you'll then go over to the power options directory found here at the top. You'll then go over to the show additional power plans drop down menu found here. And when inside of here, you'll then be seeing a few power plans. You might be seeing some different ones than I am, or you might be seeing less. But that's absolutely fine as I'm going to be going through which we're going to be selecting. For the majority of you guys, you should be seeing balanced, high performance and power saver. Most of you watching this video will not have the ultimate performance power plan, but it is the power plan in which I highly recommend everyone uses. To get your hands on the ultimate performance power plan and unlock it on your system, there is a video which is going to be linked on the card on the screen now in the top right hand side. You can go ahead and click on that guide. It's a quick video it will show you guys how to enable this on any windows 10 pc i highly recommend you do that as the majority of you guys should be seeing some great benefits not just with inside of world of warcraft but practically any game you play or anything you're doing on your systems i highly recommend following that guide as it is highly effective and fast to follow for any of you guys who do not wish to go with the ultimate performance power plan and you just wish to follow this video you can go with the high performance power plan as that should do a good enough job so at this point you'll be selecting which power plan you're going with if you're going with high performance select high performance if you're going with ultimate select ultimate once you guys have selected your power plan we'll then go over to the right hand side and click on change plan settings with inside of here you can set these two options to anything you wish to do so they do not change the outcome of this video and they do not affect performance whatsoever However, so change these accordingly to how you wish them to be set. Go over to the change advanced power settings found here at the bottom. With inside of here, we're going to be starting off by going over to hard disk and turn off hard disk after and setting the setting with inside of here to zero. Once that's then done, go ahead and press apply. Then you'll then scroll all the way down to processor power management, minimum processor state and maximum processor state and ensure both of the numbers within inside of those are set to 100%. Again, if they're not, you'll double click on the number, set the number to 100 for both of them, press apply, press OK and we can then go ahead and save changes to our power options and exit out. Piggybacking off of that step, what we can actually go ahead and do now is go into the FPS pack provided, going inside of the optimizations folder, and you'll find this setup for CPU core parking 2120. For a brief explanation of what this program does, you can find that on the screen now, just to save some time, I've decided to type it out, so it's a lot clearer for you guys to follow and actually understand what this does. In brief, it's extremely safe to do, it's extremely effective, it will not increase heat to your system, it's not like overclocking, and it's entirely safe, simple, and easy to do, and I recommend doing this on every single PC or laptop, regardless of the spec. I've always seen FPS benefits from doing this, and the performance gains from this across the board are phenomenal. So to install this program, what you'll be doing is actually going ahead and double clicking on the setup. The setup wizard for the program will then open up, and you'll then select next. With inside of here, you'll then accept the terms to the license agreement, and press next once again. With inside of here, you'll go to the default location and press next. Then, following on from there, you'll then press install. Once the program is installed, ensure the option to launch it when it's finished has been checked, and then go ahead and press finish. After a few moments, the program should open up and it should look very similar to mine, but your numbers and your settings might be a little bit different. It's actually very simple to set up all the settings inside of here, as we're only having to set four options. So, starting off with inside of here, we're going to be going over to power data plan found here on the top left hand side, going into the drop down menu, and with inside of the drop down menu, you'll be matching your setting to your power plan you set earlier on. So if you went with the high performance power plan in the previous step, you'll be selecting high performance. If you went with the ultimate performance power plan in the previous step, select ultimate performance. Once you guys have set that, we'll then be going down to core parking index, which is actually the amount of CPU cores we're going to unpark. So we're going to be selecting this, dragging this all the way to the right hand side and setting it to 100%. We're then going to go over to frequency scaling index, which is the speed of those cores and dragging this again up to 100%. 
And last but not least, if you have the option to do so, go to Turbo Boost Index and again, drag it all the way up to 100%. Once that's then been done, go ahead and press apply. It'll then notify you that the changes have successfully been applied and press OK. At this point, what we can actually go ahead and do is we can exit out of the program as we're now done unparking our CPU cores. It's just that simple to do. And before anyone out there might be panicking or hesitant to do that, your CPU will not be running at 100% all the time. What this basically does is it removes the throttling modes with inside of Windows and which allows you guys to have more horsepower that you've paid for to go to the games in which you have installed. Now before we continue on with the last and final step of this video, we are actually going to be restarting our systems to ensure that all of the optimizations have been completely applied and we are on a fresh boot of Windows. So to do this we're going to be navigating to the bottom left hand side, going over to the power option, right clicking and restarting our systems. Coming back to this video, opening up the Battle.net launcher and getting ready to continue on. Welcome back to the video guys, you guys should have now restarted your systems, be back on this video and be good to continue on. So with inside of here we're going to be going into the FPS pack provided one last time, this time we're going to be going into the optimizations folder and with inside of here you'll find the utility for timer resolution. What we're actually going to be doing is dragging this over to our desktop just like so. Once it's then been dragged onto your desktop I'm going to give you guys a quick demonstration and an explanation as to what this program does. So what this program basically does is it lowers the amount of input latency between the hardware you have installed to your machine, the game application itself and the operating system you're running on. The reason this benefits us is it lowers the amount of talk time between those giving us better frame rates a lot more responsive experiences, lower frame times, and just overall a lot more snappier experiences when inside of the game. I use this for every single game I play, whether it be a Steam title, a Blizzard title, literally everything I play on my PC, I always use time resolution when I play it. It's incredibly safe and easy to do, it's lightweight, and you will not increase heat or do anything bad to your PC by running this. It's completely safe and I've been using it for years. It's one of the most recommended programs I recommend to people, and in my opinion, it's absolutely fantastic. So, for a quick demonstration on how to use the program and when to use the program, what you'll do is let's just say that you're about to go and play Warcraft, or any game for that matter. Before you go ahead and play it, you'll boot into the program just by double clicking. You'll then go over to the maximum button, which sets the lowest value possible for the fastest response time. You'll then minimize the program, but make sure that the program's still running. You'll then boot into your game, you'll play for however long you wish to do so. Once you're done playing, you'll close out of your game, you'll maximize the program back up, select the default button to set it back to its normal value, and you'll then exit out of time resolution, and it's just that simple to use. And that is it for the optimizations included in this video. Now before I close the video out, there's going to be a couple of videos linked in the description down below. For you guys who wish to see the best NVIDIA control panel settings and the best Radeon control panel settings, which can vastly improve FPS with inside of this game, it helps out tremendously and they are very fast and easy to follow. So again, navigate into the description down below and follow those videos if you can. There will also be a video in that description down below on how to optimize Windows 10 for further gaming performance and there'll also be another video showing you guys how to overclock your GPU in a fast, effective and safe manner. You can learn more about system optimization and how to get the most out of your machine than which you've paid for to give you guys the best experience possible without having to spend a penny. So again if you do have a few moments spare and you're really serious about getting the best out of your PC, take a look down in the description down below and just pick a couple of those videos, mix and match them watch a couple of them and I guarantee you'll be seeing even better results. But there you guys have it, there is my ultimate FPS increase guide for World of Warcraft, specifically for the Battle for Azeroth update. Hopefully you guys are happy with the results in this video, if you are, please leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously. Again, if you guys can link this video and share this video around with anyone that you might find can benefit from the optimizations included, that would be deeply appreciated as well. Alongside leaving your questions, queries and results in that comment section down below, as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys and any suggestions for other games or content you wish to see. If you guys can also subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification to be notified instantly whenever I upload, whether that's an FPS guide for a certain game, or just an overall general tutorial for something, or even a video you might have suggested, press that bell notification and you'll be notified instantly when my videos go live. But with all that said and done, thank you very much for watching. I've been Pangino, and I'm out.